when we look at human beings when they worship other than Allah, why they are worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Are they these things that they're worshiping besides Allah? Would, would it benefit them in any way or form? Does it have any goodness in them whatsoever? It's all creation of Allah, it's all weak. Whether it's a prophet of Allah that they're worshiping, or a tree, or a stone, or an image, or whatever there is, amulets, whatever people they have their hearts attached to, these are nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, the most great subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran with regards to those who have their hearts attached to other than Allah. One of which in Surah Saba, verse number 23. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَلَا تَنْفَعُ الشَّفَاعَةُ عِنْدَهُ إِلَّا لِمَنْ أَذِنَ لَهُ حَتَّى إِذَا فُزِّيَ عَنْ قُلُوبِهِمْ قَالُوا مَاذَا قَالَ رَبُّكُمْ قَالُوا الْحَقَّ وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْكَبِيرُ الكبير. Which means that a shafa'a intercession does not benefit by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except for those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the permission to intercede. Intercession of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the day of judgment for the believers it's only after the permission of Allah. Nobody owns a shafa'a. Nobody owns the intercession itself. Human beings in this life, they might have some intercession for one another. Someone that knows the king or the president or whatever there is. So he would go and he would speak to him, please help this person, please hire that person, whatever there is. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no one would intercede for anyone else except if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala permit for that to happen. And unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with the subject of the intercession, the human being, and also it's a way to honor the one that intercedes for others. So the shafa'a does not benefit except by the permission of Allah.